Hey team, Cam here from thefirstroom.co.nz and today we're talking about Omega One Shrimp Ballads. Alright, so as you can see, 33 bucks for a 231 gram container, that's about par, give or take for this sort of size container of this product. But what I want to talk about is the ingredients. Are you ready? Whole shrimp, whole salmon, cod, whole herring, seafood mix including krill, rockfish, shrimp, squid, clams, salmon eggs and octopus, then some wheat flour, followed by fresh kelp, spirulina, lechin and then a whole bunch of words that I can't say. The first massive lineup of that is fresh seafood, fresh fish, and other derivatives of it. There is no major meals in there. It is all fresh, proper food. It took a little while for it to get down to the wheat flour. And following that was kelp. Now let's compare that to a couple of other brands that I've got in my hand. The first one, krill, fish meal, shrimp meal, soy protein concentrate, Wheat flour, corn meal, squid meal, dried yeast, dried kelp, fish liver meal, salmon oil, wheat germ meal, turmeric extract. Compared to the Omega 1, this one sounds atrocious. The next one, shrimp meal, fish meal, dehulled soybean meal, wheat flour, corn gluten meal, feeding oat meal, wheat germ meal, potato protein, dried yeast, agar agar, wheat, gluten, soybean oil, monosavic calcium phosphate. Tell you what sounds better to me, and that's Omega One. Okay, so packet comes with a seal on it. So here's one that I have done before, already opened up. Wouldn't be a fish room fish food review if I didn't give it the sniff test. Nice. Smells good. Genuinely smells really, really nice. It doesn't smell chemically or plasticky. smells really really good really really fresh and I'm really really impressed with the smell of it as well as the ingredients list so far I might just take this for a wee walk by myself it doesn't really matter what I think of the food or what I think it smells like it's whether the fish eat it so I'll throw a little bit in uh, it's probably a bit too much for what I'm trying to feed Going away with a wave maker. Now this food is predominantly, I would be feeding it to quarries, loaches, plecos and stuff like that. Not really the likes of tetras. Although they seemed a little bit interested on the way down. But I'm going to leave the camera here and we'll just see how long it takes for some of the quarries and the plecos to come out and give it a wee nudge. Okay, let's see what the big boys think. The angels are keen straight away, but they're always keen. Again, it sinks pretty quickly. It's not really a mid, mid sort of water dwelling species food. It's more for your quarries, loaches, plecos and whatnot. I suspect that the angelfish are gonna probably have a wee play down there. Let's see what comes out. A few moments later. Two hours later. So I've just dropped a little bit of food in the same place that I'd normally feed, and the whiptails have come out for a go. I just noticed Corridor is sneaking around as well. And over here, which is where I put the food, looks like an L270 pleco is sucking on a piece as well. Try 
charcoal without skewering him. Why, 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 another corridor tucked in the back there. So the catfish are beginning to surface for some of this food. Uh, this is the middle of the day feeding. Again, I don't normally get fed in the middle of the day because I'm not normally home. I'm doing the whole work thing. But you can see they're coming out for it, so that's a really good sign. So overall, I think the food's been in the water for seven or eight minutes in this spot here, and only a couple of minutes in the other spot where the whiptails are feeding, and everything's kind of kind of in for it so I think that's a, a really good start I, I think that's a positive win I don't recall feeding them these these pellets before and so they're taking it pretty good so just on the center what's in the water and the fact that the quarries have come out during the day as well they don't tend to come out too often so I definitely think it's a win same with that L270 coming out meanwhile now bristle nose has come out which is cool. In fact, I think she might have been sucking back one already. And there's the male under there. Um, there's another person who's in here. He doesn't really come out. Oops, that's not very good, Cam. And there's a trip of quarries. Um, thinking about it in hindsight, I normally feed them at night time, not in the middle of the day like I'm recording now. So, may not have been the smartest thing because they're not uh, the most outgoing adventurous corridors being that the skunks and the lasers so they may be a little bit put off because it's the time of the day uh, but the bristle nose is straight into it pretty quickly which is cool don't really expect much different from them though do you right so overall what do I think of the Omega one shrimp pellet it's definitely a pass mark, it's definitely a high pass mark. I don't like giving out 10s because I think there's always something that could be improved in absolutely everything in the world. But this will probably be the closest I ever get to giving a 10 for things like bottom dwelling catfish loaches and stuff like that. The ingredients list is phenomenally good, it is really really underrated food. Um, the price, it's about par for what you're going to pay for so you can't expect much, and even that being said just the ingredient list alone I think is well worth the money you're paying. The smell, it smelled brilliant. Uh, as you can see the big fish inside they took it pretty quickly. A little bit slower in here but the, um, the corridors in here are a lot more sensitive and they seem to act a bit slower anyway. Overall I think I'm gonna have to give this a nine and a half, 9.6, 9.7, something like that. It's a phenomenal food. I'm really really happy with it and I think I'm going to begin putting this within my uh, normal rotation for my Corridoras and my plecos and stuff like that. So overall, I really like it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Have a good one. Happy fish keeping and catch you later. Sorry.